Hey guys, I just want to quickly go over some of the changes to the AP exam for this year. Uh, these were just announced on Friday. Some of you may have read through them already. So it's going to be a 45 minute test at home now. Um, now that it's at home, there's going to be something like the lockdown browser. And um, uh, there's going to be two options for the test date. Uh, it could be, it's, there's going to be like an earlier date and a later date. Some of you might feel like, you know, you don't want to forget the information, so you want to take it earlier. Others of you may need a little bit more time to study. Um, all this information is going to come out a little bit later, I'll still talk about later. If you or have already signed up for the test and through all of the things going on, you realize, uh, I don't want to take this test, um, you can get a, you can cancel it and get a refund at no cost, okay? But see the website for details on that. This uh, week, on the 25th, there are going to be some online resources that become available. I will be talking more about those as they become public. All right. And, you know, for this past Friday's quiz, some of you um, struggle with the lockdown browser. But you're going to have to install something like that because you're going to be doing this test at home. Okay. And then there's going to be a set time. So it's not like you take the test whenever you want. There's going to be a certain date and a certain time that you have to take your test at. On April 3rd, in about two weeks, more details will come out. But the website right now, if you click the link down in the description area, um, it'll tell you more. All right. For the AP tests, um, they're cutting out two units uh, from the test. So every, every uh, um, AP class, every AP exam, the amount of material covered on the test is going to be decreased by a certain amount. I don't know about the other classes, but for AP stats, um, you, we're going to be lopping off two chapters, and I'll show you that in a second, okay? If you're wondering about these units, now, we go in our class, we go by chapters. These units here are what the AP goes by. If you log into Google Classroom, you'll see that. All right, you can see what the units are, but here's a brief description of them. So unit one is one variable data. This is um, uh, taking quantitative and categorical data and making histograms and box plots and understanding them and the normal curve. Um, surprisingly, this is going to be a large chunk of your test. Uh, these percentages are based off of if we had the other two uh, units. So maybe I should go ahead and just show you those. Um, there's two units. They're going to be chopped off, eight and nine. Okay. The second unit is two variable um, data. So this is the two variable categorical or quantitative data. This is where you have to do linear regression, right? You have to find a slope of your least squared regression line. You have to um, re-express. Uh, there's the um, computer outputs and things like that. You, know, you talked about um, DFSU, right? Direction, form, um, st strength, and unusual features. Planning a study, this is what we did at the beginning of the year. This is where we talk about the difference between an a, uh, experiment and an observational study, a retrospective and a prospective study, um, the four characteristics of a good experiment. Uh, we talked about the different types of sampling, right? Uh, you know, stratified, s systematic, etc. Oh, by the way, the reason that um, we are still having the AP exam, if if you read the website, they're going to tell you a little bit more. But there were a, uh, they took a poll of 18,000 um, high school students and they asked them, do you want to keep the AP exams this year? Like we can get rid of it or we can uh, count it. And they sampled 18,000 people. Now, I don't know if they randomly sampled, they probably didn't. You know, they probably did not stratify it or systematically randomly sample them or use a random number generator. They probably just did a convenience sampling because what do they know? Right, but 91% of them, 91% of them, uh, did say that they would like the AP exam, a modified version. Hmm, that would make for a great hypothesis test. Is a true proportion equal to 91%, 0.91, or is it greater than or less than? Hmm. Uh, probability. This is what we started this year off of in, in January. We talked about uh, conditional probability. There was the binomial, geometric, all that favorite stuff, drawing a Venn diagram. That's going to be 10 to 20% of your um, test. Sampling distribution, small part. This is just the one chapter, chapter 18. Really, this is an introduction into inference. And this is the bulk of your test. Okay, So 
We've already covered one and two proportions, confidence intervals and hypothesis tests, and also the errors, right? the two types of errors. And then this part we haven't quite finished up. Chapter 23 will be your quiz on Monday, um, March 23rd. And after that, we're gonna do chapters 24 and 25. Chapter 24 and 25 are just more of um, two means, okay? Unit eight and nine, chapter 26, 27, we're, can't, we're not doing this here. So we're not even gonna go over that, all right? This is actually good news for us uh, because we'll have a lot more time to cover things. We won't have to rush through material, okay? So please share this information with your friends and family. Um, let them know what's up. Thank you.